<laughs> should I do that? Should I do that? <laughs> should I do that? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jet Duxbury, he's Tay Tay. And that was a bit of cheesy music to lead you into something that might be cheesy to you, but also might be looking to the future when we're allowed out and about in the streets. Today, we're gonna battle two battery powered busking amps, both similarly priced, which was shocking to me why I wanted to do it. The Bose S1 Compact and the Cube Street EX, we're gonna look at how their reverbs sound, listen to some of some DI'd piano and some DI'd acoustic guitar. Also check out some of the amp modeling stuff in here and even venture outside. Go. Okay, we've made it for a real world test and see how loud these things are, how they sound, communicate to you if you haven't tried one. Anyway, shut up, Jack, and let's get into it. Okay, starting with the Bose S1 Compact. I'm gonna do a few little tests on these. Firstly, let's hear how an SM58 sounds on its own, straight into it. We've got no reverb on the back there. This is what it sounds like. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, my dear. I like my toast on on one side. You can hear it in my accent when I talk. I'm an Englishman in New York. Right, we've got bass and treble on there on the EQ. I don't need to talk into that. One thing we do have is some of the presets from their tone match system. That's they uh, have a tone match mixer that goes with the bigger L1 stuff. And in here you get two free presets and this one is actually set for an SM58. So I'm flicking it over to the little microphone button and uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll tell you what, I can flick it manually. I can always flick it manually. I'm going to flick it off and flick it on and I'll tell you when I do it. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, my dear. I like my toast on on one side. Flicking it on. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, my dear. I like my toast on on one side. Off. Take it everywhere I walk. On. Take it everywhere I walk. Sorry for screaming at you through the camera, but I could really hear that in the room. Tay Tay, could you hear it? Yeah, massively. Yeah. Does a bit of magic EQ in there, maybe even a little bit of compression. That's kind of a really cool start. We're going to do the same on the cube when we get there. Uh, let's listen to the reverb. I'm going to leave that preset on. Okay, now on to reverb. Let's try a different bit of the verse. Dry. If manners maketh manners, someone say, he's the hero of the day. Reverb half mast. If manners maketh manners, someone say, He's the hero of the day. Way too much. Let's go for something a bit more tasteful. If manners make it, manners, someone say, he's the hero of the day. Just one reverb on there, but it sounds really nice to my ears. Let's try an acoustic guitar into it, because it also has a preset for that. So let's try it out. Acoustic guitar we've got plugged into the second channel on here. Flat, EQ, no reverb, this is what it sounds like. Not very exciting, but we have the little switch on the back we can switch and it's already got a little preset for piezo guitars, piezo plugins on there. So I flicked it over. It's the second one in. Actually, I'll do a bit off and then I'll tell you when I turn it on. On.
I'm going to do that picky thing I was doing at the beginning because I think I can hear it a bit better. So that was with it off and here we're going to turn it on. Feels like it takes off a bit of the harshness in the room and a bit of squid in it. I swear there's little bits of like adaptive compression going on. They're quite secretive about it. The same with the wattages, but we'll explain the volume in a minute when we get there. Let's listen to the reverb on that. I'm gonna go halfway. Right, let's do a little bit together. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Anderson's TV's uh, cheesy corner of the room gig or busking event. I'm going to play you something inappropriately emotional for the occasion. The book of love is long and boring Written very long ago Full of charts and facts and figures Things we're all too young to know I love it when Tay Tay sings to me and you Really boring, but I'm just going to plug in a line level instrument. That's because both of these have line inputs done pretty differently on the bows in the fact that we've got only a mini jack input for our line in, but it also hooks up via Bluetooth, which is super handy. So you've got two channels where you can plug traditional instrument and mics in, and then a third channel that's just a mini jack or Bluetooth. Luckily, this very cost effective piano, it's only 300 quid, this Casio, runs on batteries in an effort that hopefully we'll take it outside and try it out in a minute. Uh, it runs on batteries, uh, but it also has just a stereo mini jack out. So we're running that into that straight as it, and this is what it sounds like. Dodgy vocals included. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, my dear. Dodgy. I like my toast on on one side Vocals You can hear it in my accent when I talk I'm a Weymouth man in Guildford <laughs> You're like, oh my goodness The jokes are free, the jokes are free Right, on to the cube Shub up Um, yeah Shub a year I stop and stare at Tate Walking on the shore Roland Cube Street EX. I don't need to talk into the microphone. Roland Cube Street EX. New to me, because we were checking out things to do videos on, and thankfully everyone's buying a lot of stuff, so we don't have a lot in stock. But I saw that this is very similarly priced to the Bose, and I was a bit shocked because I thought the Bose was out on its own. So we're going to hear this and we're going to hear what it does. We've got the microphone uh, SM58 plugged into the mic channel. This is with no reverb on it and flat as a pancake. Let's get a key. I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. I try to concentrate, but my mind wants to explore. So cheesy, I know, but we're going to put some reverb on that cheese just to make it even cheesier. This is what the reverb sounds like. Hello, testing, testing, testing. The raffle will be at 3 p.m. Everyone, the raffle will be at 3 p.m. Thank you. And please, anyone with a Peugeot 306, a gray one, can you move it or die? <laughs> That's the reverb. Here we go. <laughs> I stop and stare at you walking on the shore. 
I try to concentrate, but my mind wants to explore. The tropical scent of you sends me up above. Go on. Oh, I forgot the lyrics. Let's plug a guitar in, hear what that sounds like, and the reverb on that. <laughs> Got the Martin plugged in, flat as a die, no reverb. This is what the piezo sounds like. Okay, dokey, a little bit of reverb on here. Let's have a little bit more, that's half of the reverb. With a rolling cue. <laughs> oh, it's getting so cheesy. As soon as you start to do songs, it gets a little bit weird, doesn't it? But that's what the reverb sounds on like it. I'm going to plug in an electric guitar and hear what the amp modeling sounds do. Jesus, we're walking on some hot coals. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, part of the reason why you might be buying the Cube EX is you're a guitar player, unlike me, and you want to use some amp modeling, save you taking out some pedals. Right, this is what a 335 sounds like, plugged straight in. On the middle pickup. Right, no one wants to hear that. Let's flick to this clean amp model. Actually, let's do the acoustic sim. Any different? Couldn't really hear a difference. Let's go to clean. Starting to sound like an ant. Let's put a bit of touch of reverb on for a treat. Cool, let's do one more. We got a crunch. Oh, we're rock and roll 
Golden. Hey, no place for a keyboard player to ever be. But we've also got some chorus and delay. Let's go back to clean and put that on. Let's go a bit of chorus. Um, same thing. Oh, yeah, baby. Little bit of delay. So interesting, totally something that the bows cannot do. And I think it's worth, and I will interject here and say that in the room, the bows definitely sounds better to me. Would you say that, Tay Tay? Absolutely. Yeah, there is a sound in the room. You're hearing the stereo line outs. This is a really big win for people. And we're trying to communicate it to you. That's probably what it would sound like if you were taking a recording from whatever gig you were doing or busking. Also, what it would sound like if you were plumbing into a bigger PA system. Often, you're taking these little things to clubs and pubs when they're open, and they'll ask you to plug into a bigger PA system. And this is cool that you've got the line outs. One thing to add as well is that you can just plug more stuff into the cube off the bat. You've also you've got these two microphone or instrument channels with a three-band EQ, it must be said as well and reverb, you also have two audio ins here. It works with an app as well. Uh, check out on the website. I'm not gonna show that off because I think that's pretty niche Lorraine stuff. Let's get to the all important test and see how ruddy loud these things. We're gonna go outside all on batteries and I don't know how we're gonna do this. Probably Tay-Tay's gonna have to run away from me, but he likes doing that anyway. And he's gonna tell us how loud these things are and try to give some arbitrary indication of what you're getting because this is a big part of this battery stuff let's do it before we head outside Tay Tay demanded that I play a bit mysterious girl didn't you boy yeah I stop and stare at you walking on the shore I try to concentrate but my mind wants to explore I'm looking into your eyes feeling so alive Girl, when you touch me there, it's time to take it through the night, oh. Let's go outside and test this thing for Jesus Christ's sake. Okay, we've made it to the alleyway at the side of Anderton's music. And we're going to do a test where Tay-Tay... Lovely, a little acknowledgement there. Tay-Tay is going to move back in increments of his choosing and record the audio through, what we've got there, a Rode video mic? Yeah and you're gonna hear the difference of me playing some dodgy tunes. One thing I wanted to add was just about the weight of these things. To my feeling, this is slightly lighter out of the gate, but one other thing is the way they're powered. This has a built-in rechargeable battery. Uh, check out the specs for the length of time on there, because it's a slight, bit of a slightly different on here because you've got three power modes. I'm gonna run this in the max power mode, but also you have to run it off eight AA batteries. You can use rechargeable ones, but for me, that is a big win for the bows. Again, one last thing, Tay Tay. This is the bag you can buy for the bows. I thoroughly recommend it. In the top, if you unzip it, you can keep all your leads in there. And if you're off to school, like it feels like we're shooting a school movie, right? You can put on a thing and there's a lovely girl walking up the alleyway. So I'm gonna take this off and run away. <laughs> Bose S1, volume maxed on both channels. This one's for you to day day. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. I got sunshine on a cloudy day I got Tay Tay on a cloudy day I got sunshine on a cloudy day That's nuts! I got sunshine on a cloudy day.
that sunshine or a cloud again. Cube Street EX time. I've got the volume on about eight tenths before it started feeding back on here and the keyboard is rocking at about three quarters max power. This one's for you to tell you. Tay, 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 tay. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. When it's cold outside, I got Tay Tay. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. Amazing. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. So I get you say what can make me feel this way? But I think. Hopefully that made some sense to you and you get an idea of what it sounds like. I'm speaking through the Roland because that was the last thing we had plugged in. One little bit about my experience with it is the Roland has more visceral loudness. Uh, it feels louder and also there's just more gain in the air. But the clarity isn't there with the bows, but I was really surprised with the Roland. And it actually has more of a stereo spread behind me. I can feel it. I dig it. Anyway, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know and learn from it. I'm going to sing to Tay Tay out. Let's do a Yob type favourite. I don't need to speak into this. <laughs> I don't need to talk into that. I don't need to talk into the microphone. Shabba, shabba, shabba. Oh. Oh, ha, ha. Ha. The raffle will be at 3 p.m. Shabba. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Shabba, yeah. Ha. Before we run out, I forgot. Got to do a bit of Mysterious Girl, just for Tay Tay's favorite song. I stop and stare at you, walking on the shore. I try to concentrate, but my mind wants to explore. I sound the wrong lyrics. Mental. <laughs> <laughs>